outside of the James Beard House, and today we're talking to Chef Joshua Moore of Valare in Louisville. We're discussing his restaurant and how to properly bring Italian food and Southern food together. So tell me a little bit about the concept of Valare. Uh, Valari started, um, we wanted to do a you know fine dining Italian concept, mm. wanted to really focus on a lot of local ingredients and you know a little bit of southern influence into a traditional Italian menu. People typically think of southern food as being one thing, Italian food as being quite another. How is that process to kind of bring both of those together? Um, you know, you know, really, uh, Italian food to me, you know, it's all about fresh ingredients. You know, you don't want to get too uh, too far from like your, your main ingredient, your main purpose. Yeah. And and you know, Southern food's kind of the same way. Okay. And you know, you can incorporate like like for instance, like a I have a Southern inspired Italian shrimp and grits on the menu. Mm. Plus, you know, a, a polenta base, and you know, the sauce is a little more on the Italian end. But you know, you can really do a lot with taking you know local Kentucky ingredients right. and you know some Kentucky flavors and incorporating those into Italian dishes. Um, and you know, we're big on local. Uh, of course, right. I have a 10 acre farm, grow a lot of the produce right. for the restaurant. Anything I can't grow on my farm, I like to try to so source locally. Mm -hmm. And let's also talk about your background because you started cooking in Louisville at the age of 14. You've mm -hmm. said your grandmother influenced you. Mm -hmm. You started you know, cooking with her when you were seven. How did that influence your cooking today? Is it you know, the southern side of it, the Italian side, both? Um, I guess with, with what I cooked with my grandmother, it was a little more Italian, uh, a lot, lot of uh, pastry. You know, she always baked cakes and cookies and candies. But my, you know, my, my first restaurant job was a fine dining Italian restaurant in town. So, you know, I'm about 20 years in Italian. Regionally across the uh, U.S., are there differences even within Italian cuisine, even though we absolutely. have no real claim to it? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, uh, I feel like depending on, you know, where, where you are, California, New York, you know, Kentucky, you know, Italian food, you know, is maybe more um, nouveau in some areas, more traditional in some areas. Right. Uh, you know, and, and you know, you kind of have to, you know, feed the group of people in the city you're in. Are there certain ingredients that you think that the South does really well, that marry well into Italian cuisine, that perhaps even Italians don't know they should be incorporated? Like chow chow that they do in the South, you right. know. You know, you, you can incorporate a lot of Southern, you know, like that Southern inspired shrimp and grits. You know, you can you can do a lot with more southern cuisine, mm -hmm. and you know, still do a little bit of Italian Italian flair to it. So. Right, absolutely. And let's also talk about the dining scene in Louisville. Mm -hmm. How has it evolved in the years since you've grown up there, been cooking there, and how do you think that diners outside of Louisville see the city's dining scene? Uh, you know, I, I think Louisville is really becoming a foodie town. Mm -hmm. You know, the past I'd say you know 15, 20 years, we've really yeah. evolved into the you know restaurant scene. You know, I'd put Louisville up against, you know, a lot of other big cities on, on dining. Mm. A lot of uh, different you know, ethnic foods. You know, you can, you can do everything from food trucks in Louisville to four-star fine dining. Well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck on the dinner. You're welcome. I really thank appreciate you. it. The Italian Thanks so much for watching, and for more, go to potluckvideo.com.